Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech, and today I'm super excited. I'm making a change. I have followed the hype, basically, and I'm on the Apple train. I have never owned a Mac Mini, and I just couldn't resist. I've seen a lot of other reviewers stating how good this looked. Actually, I watched the presentation and was just blown away at how impressive, fundamentally, the size of this device is, and I was just absolutely loving it. So I thought, why not? Let's do it. So this arrived yesterday. I've been resisting it all this time to try and open it. So I'm going to do that with you now. So let's do the unboxing experience. Rah. That's it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That was even better than I expected. Okay. That's a very small box, okay? But first of all, this protective box looks super duper sweet. Let's get rid of that. All right, so as always with Apple products, they are super clean, of course. Now, what I've done on purpose is I've gone for the base model. I specifically wanted to get the, basically the model that I think most people are gonna get. What was recommended was to use the larger storage, but the one thing Apple is still famous for is charging too much for increased memory. So I've gone for the 16 gig, which is as standard 16 gig of RAM, which means that it's going to work quite quickly. And of course, because of Apple intelligence, then it's going to need a bit more RAM, but I've gone for the 256 gigabyte because I can buy a terabyte's worth of external storage for about a hundred euros. So that's half the price than they would charge me for a single bump up, which would be the 500 gigabytes worth of storage. So I figure I may as well use a transportable form of data transfer so that I can have it in a small uh, memory card or I'm yet to buy it. I'm trying to decide which one to get, whether it be Samsung. If you've got any advice, put it in the comments below. I'd love to know but I'm going to buy an external memory. Uh, I've got various SD cards that I use because of obviously making videos, but I'm going to use an external drive that I can just plug straight into this device because it is really, really high speed data transfer as well, uh, because this isn't rocking the Thunderbolt 5, but it is the Thunderbolt 3.2, so it's gonna be very, very fast and no complaints whatsoever. Right, let's get into this. Oh. Nice. Okay, that is looking very, very good. One thing that I was quite impressed by actually is that this device is carbon neutral. So they finally found a way to make this actually offset its environmental impact. Now, first and foremost, it's wrapped in that protective layer, which is absolutely fantastic. And it looks super duper smooth, but I love the size of this device. Just to highlight as I take these off, Oh, it's very quiet. That's it. There we go. For the ASMR lovers of you, that was, uh, that was for you. Oh, look at that. There's even a sticky pad on the base there. Now, infamous is that the power button is on the base of this device. I really don't care. I don't think many people touch that. Obviously, reaching your finger underneath it is not the end of the world unless you've got it hidden in a drawer somewhere, which might be a bit annoying, but otherwise I'm gonna have my setup underneath my screen. So for me, it's gonna be very accessible because of the fact that you've got ports on the backside. So you have the power, you've got high speed ethernet, super cool, HDMI of course, three Thunderbolts on the back, which is USB type C as well. And you've got two Thunderbolts on the front here, super handy. So now you've suddenly got a lot more utility because you can plug in various things all at the same time without having to buy adapters, which again, Apple famous for their clean designs, but you're having to buy adapters, which is really boring. So that is it. And it is not heavy, actually. I thought it would be even heavier than it is, but it's actually not heavy at all. So super impressive. Then we've got the braided charging cable. Very, very cool. All in black. Very simple, good quality, very thick as well. And then in the base, we just have some circular instructions and quick start guides designed by Apple California, but no stickers or anything exciting like that at all. So that's a bit of a letdown, but otherwise I don't really need stickers. I'm just here for the main event. 
which is this device. So one of the things that I actually did discover from watching one of the other YouTube channels, which I'll put a link to below, is that you can actually upgrade the SD potentially. So there is a method to actually take the base off and upgrade the SSD independently. So without Apple having to do it. Now they didn't have to do that. Normally they solder the uh, SSDs onto the motherboards, which makes it impossible to upgrade without destroying it. But apparently you can actually upgrade it. So if I really wanted to, I could potentially buy a modified SSD and install it in here at a later stage if I wanted to do that to increase the memory storage. But that was why I wanted to buy this device because it is priced at 719 euros. It's a little cheaper in the US. Uh, it's 699 and it's 599 if you're a student in dollars. You get it for 619 in euros if you are a student in Europe or at least in Spain anyway, which is where I am. So I think for any brand new Apple product that is running the M4 chip, which in and itself is an absolute revelation, this is by far probably the very best Apple product available at the moment in terms of value for money. So that was my quick unboxing. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm super excited to set this up. I'm gonna do that, set this up with my QHD screen, get this rolling, see how things work, and I'll do my next video talking about the setup and also what it's like to use for the first few days. If there's anything in particular you wanna know about this device, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye-bye for now.